Hey, welcome back to Bali Spring. It's early evening of August 2, mid August. We're trying to finish up these silage baling contracts that we had taken. We've actually completed two of the contracts already, but we still got lots of bales out on the fields. You know, I've been having my difficulties with my game crashes. I swung out too far. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, we're hoping nothing happen here. This delivery will probably compete, complete, compete complete all three contracts so we'll start collecting money and then we'll get the rest of the bales off the fields which will be yet even more money but I did want you to be able to see that when we were doing the work the money came in and didn't didn't cheat the money in it really happened so here we go we're gonna offload this this should complete the third contract and then we'll start collecting money and then everything after this will be money Let's see what happens the problem is is that yeah um, once the once it's full it's not going to take any more bales. Yep, yeah, I've had this happen before. <laughs> so the uh, biogas plant's full. I can't sell any more bales here. So I'm going to have to take them and sell them somewhere else. So <laughs> I'm going to pick these back up. And then start going and getting more somewhere else. I didn't even see how much money we got. Because I started worrying about how many <laughs> bales were going to go and how many weren't. That's why, because they didn't tell us. So we got 22,000 for additional bales. And then we've got a lot to go pick up still off the field. So I'm going to go to the field I was just at. I'm going to try and get those off of there. Oh, Lord. And then we'll get to another cell point. This trailer's just a little too big to negotiate the roads on this map. It can be challenging at times.
Okay, we've got another full load of bales here. The next best price was at uh, Bali Spring Garage. So that's where we'll deliver the remaining bales. I've still got five out in a field. Oh, I was worried that they were close. <laughs> I still got five bales out in the field that we'll try and go get. So this will be all money that we can collect. Uh, so we'll see if we can get in here and not have a problem. We want it to go up, so I think I think that'll work. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't think it'll go too high. There we go. Let's just go ahead and unload those for collective money. Not quite sure why it did that, but okay. Lots of money. Another thirty-five thousand. 36,000 euros plus some environmental score. This is nice, good money. So I'm going to run back out to the field, get those last five bales. There's one bale in one field that. I missed wrapping. I'll probably go get that one later. But I'll see you back here when I have those five bales. Okay, I'm arriving at Bali Spring Garage with the last five bales. Closer. There we go. It's after eight. I was wondering. You know, sometimes they have maps where the uh, cell points have hours and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I usually try not to deliver after eight o'clock on most of my maps. It's still nice and light here in Poly Spring at eight o'clock. That's actually kind of amazing. Okay, this is the last five bales going in. I'm going to deliver these. We'll see how much that we get. And then I'm going to go get that last grass bale, head back to my place, uh, and collect on these contracts. I'll probably flash up the uh, contract screens, and then the next thing is it'll be late August, and I'll see you then. What is it, almost 8,000? Yep. Another 8,000. These solid bailing contracts are just incredibly lucrative. You gotta like them. Anyway, uh, I'll put up those screens when I get to it, and I'll see you at the end of August. Good morning. So you saw we finished up those uh, bailing contracts for silage last night and delivered it all. Came back here, dropped off the uh, one grass bale that I had forgotten to wrap. And then I took the skid steer, I took it up to the uh, open cow pasture there to the north of the farm and put it in there for the cow. So our mechanical bale loading trailer's back here where we keep it in the yard and we're ready to get some work done here on our farm. Now, it's my second time recording this. I had a game crash right as I was about to save. So a little frustrated, but we'll go ahead and we'll repeat what we did. And maybe it'll go a little smoother this time, although it was pretty good that time. So uh, I got the Massey Ferguson 7-Eleven skid steer parked here because it needs some maintenance looks like it me needs maintenance really bad but the problem is actually the bale spikes and the uh, weight on the back uh, but the machine itself is not really in that bad of shape but we're going to go ahead and do the maintenance on it
so 430 euros to repair that it's really good to keep your machinery up above 75 percent because the maintenance goes up quicker the worse condition it's in so go ahead and collect on that and we'll just you know the weights and the bail spikes i mean what it probably wouldn't cost much to fix it but what what's the, what are the bail spikes not being properly maintained gonna really cause I don't think anything so I'm not gonna worry about it too much let me go ahead and put this away actually I'm just putting the bail spikes away I'm gonna grab the pallet forks and then we're gonna go uh, move pallets away from the greenhouses get them over here and get them ready I don't know I, I need to look and verify can I sell my wool at my own uh, self-marketing across the road at the dairy probably move some milk over to the dairy and then we've been working on filling our uh, silage clamp the bunker silo here uh, we've got the grass already windrowed in the field right there uh, on the back side of the farm and get that one in there and then we've got the large field up by the open cow pasture to the north that one will need to be cut yet but there's no particular hurry to what am I doing man <laughs> There's no particular hurry to get on that uh, because we have plenty of silage in the trailer to continue to mix up feed and we've got feed in the trailer. We probably could take that feed and top off the cow barn. Yeah, I don't know. Some people have said that your animals are actually more productive the the fuller you keep their feed. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, it's probably good practice, though. Ooh. Did you just scare that ram? <laughs> oh. Um, not too long ago, Farmer Cop put out a video on cows and feeding cows a lot of people have been referencing it and saying hey farmer cop showed that it doesn't make any difference really if you just use hay to feed your animals instead of TMR honestly I think that's very misleading And I know that he did his best to kind of show what he found, but there are some others out there who've done the testing. I think Strock did some. Uh, so here's what I believe to be true. That is probably true if you're doing beef cattle and you don't care about manure or slurry. But if you are doing dairy cattle, and if you care about manure or slurry, then you are better off feeding them TMR. Because you will get more milk, you will get more manure, you will get more slurry. How much more? I don't know. But I believe enough that it makes it worthwhile just to give them the uh, total mix ration. That's what I believe to be true. I'm on console, not on PC, so it's not easy to do the tests like some of these guys do. Because on PC you can just use like uh, that dev 
control mod to you know just create product and fill things and stuff without actually having to do anything whereas you know when you try and test stuff on console and Mr. CLEP has done this quite a bit but you've got to put in you've got to cheat money in you've got to create the product by buying like a buy anything silo and it's just it's a little more work to try and do those kinds of tests also the time you know they can on pc you can just speed up time but on console we're limited to uh 360 times speed per time and also just sleeping overnight that's really the only way we can make time pass and well 360 times speed sounds fast when they're doing a thousand times speed or whatever i mean they're flying through time so anyway that's my belief on that i think you're still better off using tolomix ration uh, we have the cows up in the pasture they're just eating hay now every map's different too so that's just kind of a general statement uh, for example on this map you can feed your cows just straight silage and it's like whatever 80 or 90 percent effective not true on all maps And so we have our younger cows that aren't producing milk yet up in the uh, open cow pasture that doesn't produce either manure or slurry and or milk. Oh, we'll, we'll produce milk up there, but we're not getting any. Uh, and we're just, well, we fed them solid just because we had to get rid of it, but we're just feeding them milk. Milk, sorry. <laughs> we're just feeding them uh Actually, grass and hay are the same on here. So I think you're, you're fine just feeding them uh, hay in general, which is better than grass. Uh, if you're just trying to get them to age and keep them healthy. Which is what we're doing up at that open cow pasture. And I am interested to see when they actually start producing milk at what age. I always thought it was 12 months, but I think maybe it might be 18 on this map, but I'm not 100% sure. And in general, I'm not 100% sure anymore. I thought it was 12. So, uh, yeah, on Ohio farm we have that pasture out behind our self-made cow shed. Actually, it's the same one that's on this map, but this one's modded to accommodate more cows. And that's where we have our younger cows trying to age them. So we're kind of doing the same thing on that map. So this is very close to where it crashed on me last time, so I'm probably going to do a video clip save and a game save here uh, before I even walk away from these pallets. It crashed on me when I walked around the corner of the building last time. <laughs> so it didn't this time. I'm headed over to the house. I'm going to get a ride down to the machinery store. And I am going to buy something. So the next time I see you, I will be down at the machinery store. Okay, 50,000 euros for a new vehicle. And there it is. I bought myself a truck. It's a man truck. I got it in the standard green. I was going to get it like maybe in white or beige. 
but they wanted 3,000 euros to uh, <laughs> to for the custom paint. So the idea with this is we can use this to move pallets around. And also we could use this to move our square bales uh, out of the fields and such. Uh, I think I think it'll work well. Really inexpensive. Good mod. Uh, details in the description below. Scroll down to the bottom of the list of mods, and I think that's where I'll add it. Anyway, we're going to hop in. Fire it up. We're going to head back to the farm. We're going to load those vegetable pallets up on the back of this. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. I have never used this mod before. And I rarely use this truck because I don't don't often get to the Euro trucks. There was one that uh, there was a mod that was a man with a I think it had a longer back on it and it could have been a like an auto loading bale trailer thing. But because the gates are so tight and the lanes are so tight on here, I thought better of it. And I figured probably better off getting this shorter version, even though it's not a auto loading. I mean, we've got the mechanical bail trailer that we can use for contracts and stuff, but this one we can use all around our own farm. Get those square bales without having to mess around with the trailer and everything. That was my thinking. And it was, I mean, it wasn't expensive. 50000 Come on, you can't even buy a tractor for that. And we still got 200000 in the bank, so I think, I think we're fine. Goes quick too. Does not turn as sharp as I'm anticipating, though. I do, I do need to learn that. Oh, I should change my shirt this morning, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, I think this will work well, even in the tight yard. So we're gonna get kind of centered here a little bit. So maybe the skids here can get around both sides of it. Look at that, the cab. Cab moves a little, that's nice. That's, that's pretty good, I like that. Good mod. All right, we're gonna load the vegetable pallets on. loading these on here just see if we can fit more in the episode think I'd be all right
the last pallet of tomatoes here. This is so good, I like it. I mean, <laughs> it's way overkill. I mean, we got six pallets that easily fit on the old bale trailer that we refinished, but. I don't know, I like it. Seems like we're, you know, advancing the, the farm. Actually, I park this right here for now. It's as good a spot as any, right? And then we'll put that strap on. Hop in the truck and we'll take it across the road. Well, I'm sitting here. Let me check the prices real quick. So here we are in the prices menu. We'll go down to our vegetables. Where are they? There we go. Lettuce. Sale of vegetables, 2091. Tomatoes. So, uh, yeah, by far. That is the best price by far. Ooh, I didn't close that gate. I need to do that. I don't want sheep wandering out for the goats. improvement over that little tiny green trailer that we were using before. We should be able to back right in here. There they go. Take straps off. Let it continue to sell. Look at the money go up. I mean, it's not much. It's what, six, 1,500 uh, liters of each. It's not a lot. Be, what, a couple thousand euros is all. Oh, almost five. With the environmental score, yeah, it is five. Nice. I'm gonna just circle around the uh, dairy here just to evaluate the butter and cheese pallets. There's a few that'll need to get moved. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a trailer of uh, milk and bring it over. Where's this truck gonna live? Could have a better turning radius, not gonna lie. I guess that's probably one of the differences between this and a tractor is the turning radius that you might could get out of it. Still, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that, I think it's good. see I think right in here by the combine this this could be a good spot for it am I gonna be able to get out or am I cl too close to the wall tight but I made it out 
It's excellent. Okay, so let's get some milk. Probably take the drop nose. This could use some maintenance. You know what? Let's just get it done. Let's try and keep things maintained. Do you think I've punished myself enough for driving the Ford into the water? <laughs> Can I start using it again yet? No. Nah. Maybe next year. do have a jet washer or a power washer I should do a better job keep my vehicles clean too all right so we're gonna fill this with milk I wonder if we need to check the water in the greenhouses too Actually, while it's filling, let's hop out, take a look at the uh, uh, animal, or the whatever, the, yeah, animal menu. This is our self-made cow shed here, so we're getting low on straw, so it might be a good time to find out whether the, uh, whether that straw blower we bought will work. Food's okay, but it probably would take that whole mixer wagon that we have. Yeah, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Uh, reproduction. We're 80% with eight more cows. Okay. Oh, the milk. There's still another 10,000 liters in there. I probably could take two loads over to the dairy then. I might just wait till the next episode to do that though, so that we're doing different tasks. I do not <laughs> like this drive in the bushes and having to pull out into traffic over here, but we got across. Yeah, I like the way this series is kind of playing out. Uh, we've had nice development here. But with the game crashes and stuff, I do find it kind of annoying. And also with the redundancy of just all the grass work. But I guess if you diversify and are doing like we're doing with the dairy and stuff over here, it does uh, keep it interesting, I think. I don't know. You tell me what you think. This is the series I've voted most likely to go away. Um... I don't know where you stand on it. So let's put this in, or let's just get this out of the way. And maybe we'll go 
put some more uh, grass into the silage clamp. We are really crowded. We got to do some cleanup around the uh, yard, I think, probably when we get done mowing that other field. We can put the grass work stuff away. It's what, late August? It's probably time that we should start thinking about getting the fields done too again. I'll put that there. I think it'll be out of the way. Is it out of the way enough? I think so. I should be able to get in here. All right. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to get my clips saved and my progress saved so that should we have any difficulties, we won't have a whole lot we need to recreate. Looks, it looks okay. Oh, I don't know if I turned short enough. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> it's closer than I thought it would be. I don't know. What do you think we got out there? We've probably got three or four more wagon loads. Here, that post. Clear that post. But yeah, we've got to get out in this field and get it uh, cultivated yet. We do have that new cultivator we can use. And then if it doesn't bring up big stones, turn that on, drop it down. If it doesn't bring up large stones and we would be able to roll them in and they don't damage the cedars, it's just really the combine that gives you the most trouble with. But we don't have a roller. Do I have some rollers in here, some mods? I'm going to need probably a small one, smaller one. I don't want to use the big Dalbo, the space game. Oh my goodness, there's quite a bit out here, isn't there? I don't even think I'll get around this outside um, perimeter before I've gotten it filled. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reevaluate. What did I say? Three or four? I think probably six or seven. Yeah, it might that might be worthy of a time lapse. <laughs> There's so much grass out there. It's a beautiful map. It's got good lighting. Looks good. All right. Get this over into the yard. And the kind of the misty kind of look to it, you know? Nice. Nice. Pretty.
All right, what? We're going to go across again, huh? So we'll start at the edge over here. Start dumping it. Uh oh. It's like you gotta pull forward, otherwise, it's just gonna start bounding up like that. It doesn't bleed out, though, does it? No, it's nice. Good clamp. I think the prudent thing to do is probably to do a time lapse as I uh, collect the grass up off of this field. Hope that the uh, game cooperates with us. Okay, I'm headed back out to the field to get the last of it. I mean, it there's quite a bit off of there. Uh, we got it picked up pretty good. This will just be a little bit. We'll put it in the uh, salvage clamp. I'll kind of reevaluate where we're at, what, how much time we have to do things. I think probably the next job that we want to get on is probably cultivating these fields. Take a look at compacting the uh, silage clamp as well. I think we can use the wheel loader for it. If we squeeze any out, though, we may have a problem because we still got 
Don't we have silage in the, uh, yeah. So we could probably empty the feed mixer into the uh, cow shed and then mix up more feed with the solid that we got on the uh, whatever is this silage fork and then we would be able to push chaff back into the solid bunker if we ended up pushing it out nice to have a good roller. I know there was one that Mr. CLEP used recently that was like really quick. I think he used it on his Alma Let's Play. He tried a couple different ones because he couldn't remember which one it was. But it made short work of the compacting and that's always a good thing. <laughs> Driving back and forth can be a little tedious. All you need to put some more solid additive in the tank here. Wouldn't hurt. Before we do the next field. I think that's it. Ten o'clock in the morning. We got all the grass off the field. That looks pretty good. gonna close the gate but I think I'll leave it open we've got to get slurry or manure down on these grass fields again to get them uh, fertilized for the next next go around but I think we want to get some regular field work done in the not too distant future it's been a while since we've done that right tight entrance to the yard we're getting better at it this is going to be tricky because we're going to end up getting a lean I think with the forward wagon we're going to have to be careful with it this may not be a good idea <laughs> We're going to do it anyway, though. As foolish as it sounds. There we go. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the forge wagon back into its spot where we normally keep the grass equipment. I think that'd probably be a good idea. We're not gonna use it for a little bit. I mean, we will need it again when we do that other field, but I'm hoping to kinda do something else for a little while. I kind of dislike having to come back just a hair more. I need the room to be able to get the uh, other machinery in here. Just a little more. I'm going to call that good. So what am I doing next? I don't know. Let me think about it. I think we'll give that uh, 
a Bill Shredder a shot. Since I'm in this, we'll just go ahead and use this. Uh, I don't think I repaired it after I brought it back, so we'll take it over into the sh shop and uh, do some maintenance on it. Make sure it's completely up to snuff before we try and use it. Just try and shove a square bale into the back of it and see if it works. How about right there? Hop out. Uh, might as well over here. And then this is going to cost us 403. Okay. Don't want to mess around too much. We've probably got what? Less than 10 minutes left in the episode at this point. Um, hey, I gotta think about this. So it's got a. Imagine it's. Nope, it's not that. There we go. Do I have enough room to maneuver behind it? Okay. I think it's really designed for round bales, but we're gonna see if we can get away with shoving a square in there. Where did I leave the... Oh, it's over here. end up keeping pushing that forward to where I can't get to it. Well, we can drive this in there, can't we? I don't know. Is the skids... Yeah, the skids are all fit in there. Okay. So that one there is a partial. I'm going to save that for mixing up total mix rash. I'm going to grab a full one here. shove it in this way <laughs> and see if I can make it work. If not, yeah, I don't know what we'll do with it. I guess we could start making round straw bales so that we can use it, but kind of like the, using the squares for a change. quickly here so we can get this in. I hope it's not in the way there. So, I don't know. <laughs> That's that one. Yeah, it knows it's there. It just might work. It just might work. Yeah. There we go. We got a straw trigger come out. I'll back up as 
far as I can here without running into it, and then we'll fire it up. There we go, cows! Look at that! Now you get a dance in the blowing straw. You guys are gonna love that. Yeah! This is so much better than just, you know, dumping it out of a feed mixer. Visually speaking. Wouldn't you agree? I think so. Matter of fact, that's probably a better thumbnail than the one I was planning on doing. Yeah. All right. Oh, it took it all. It worked out really well. Didn't think that was so much of a problem at all. All right, I'll take a look at time. Maybe we'll give him some feed too. Got to move some of this stuff out of the way though. Um. Back this up further if I can. This is not what I hope to accomplish in any stretch of the definition of what I thought I was going to do there. But okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to grab this, get it out of the way so I can get the feed mixer out. And that's probably where we're going to end up having to end because I'm running out of time. What I will probably do off camera between now and the next time I see you is I probably will put more feed in the mixer so I can empty the silage off of the uh, silage fork that we have on the front of the wheel loader so that I can compact. Because I think they'll take all this easily. So this episode is going to be uploaded on the 24th of December. So this is our Christmas Eve day episode. So there's no better time for friends and family to come together such as Christmas. May the true meaning of this season fill our hearts and that is to appreciate the love given to us by not taking it for granted. I want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Okay. So quickly, I'm just going to show you how much is in here. Uh, because somebody said they wanted to see it. So bring up the animal menu. So there it is. Yeah, there's still quite a bit of room in there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. Merry Christmas.